Hey everyone, welcome back. New week, new video, and today I'm going to share with you six methods to create color palettes. Let's go. First of all, I just want to thank you all guys for the questions and the requests. Thank you for your comments. I'm saving all of your requests and questions. I will make sure that I will answer all of them. I did this shot the other day and this was your response. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. I, I think people are asking me to do a tutorial about colors. So here we go. So method number one is create a color palette from nature. Take a photo from something you like in nature and just put it, save it in somewhere. I, I use Pinterest a lot to save my photographs and everything I, I have for coloring. It's public so you can uh, check it out if you want. And for example, I have a, an image I took the other day of a sunset. So I can open it, copy image, then go to the program and just paste it here and then I can color pick it. So I'm, let me show you very quickly how I color pick this. I take a dark blue, a light blue, and then probably an orange because that that's like the combination that I liked. And boom, now I have a color palette that I can use in my designs. Perfect. Second method, from something you see in real life. Again, if you're walking down the street, you see a sign that you like, take a picture and save it because then you can access uh, to that picture in your, pro in your program of preference. I use Catch and color pick it. So if you like a color palette that you see anywhere in the real world, take a picture, color pick it in your, in your program, boom, you have a color palette. Third method, from an image you find online, maybe you, have, you find an illustration that you like, or if you find a, a magazine that you like, um, then save it, put in your program, color pick it, and for example, I have a magazine here that I liked with uh, the use of green and, and gray, so I color picked it, boom, I have a color palette. I like this illustration, I color pick it, boom, I have a color palette. Now, be mindful not to copy something that is very similar to what you're doing. For example, if you're doing a magazine, don't copy uh, colors from a magazine that is very similar to the magazine you're doing. Or if you're doing a website, don't copy from a website, copy from an illustration, copy from another medium, another uh, type of design or art. So that you're just taking some, some inspiration from there, but you're not uh, mimicking exactly the same thing you're not replicating something you're just taking resources from whatever you find method number four from a color you like maybe you like red so just do a color palette with red black and white why why complicate yourself right um, Dieter Ram said a little bit of color is more colorful than having everything in color so when you have very little color it, it pops up a lot uh, when you have everything in color, everything is like dominant and, and competing for your attention. So it's very hard to like make colors pop up when there's so much color. You have to be scarce with the use of color to make it pop up. So a quick example, maybe you have seen this. It's a website that I did. It's a template. Uh, you can see it on Behance. I'm going to leave the link below. But yeah, you, you can see how I used black, white and red. And with that, I can use like a whole template, whole website, and it ha has a lot of likes, so <laughs> it works. Um, method number five, from Adobe Color. I think this is a great, great uh, website. It's a great tool for designers, and I've used it a lot. Um, w one thing that I really like is that they have um, these rules. So you, you can do monochromatic, you can do triad, you can do complementary, and then if you change something, it will maintain those rules. So you're kind of ensuring yourself that you're going to have a good result. It's not a safety net like any tool. It's a tool and you have to master it. Um, it's not the colors you pick, it's what you do with the colors you pick, right? Um, but yeah, this is a really, really good tool. If you're starting out, I really recommend it because it's very safe. Method number six from Coolers. So that's another website um, and it's also very cool and, and it's super fun because you can just press the spacebar and it creates colors, color palettes that are predetermined. 
but then you can choose one and then if, if you lock it then that that one won't change but the rest will change um, so you start creating this and then you save it as a PNG and you have it to to use it in your in your design so it's that's a really cool tool I'm gonna leave the links below to everything I mentioned in this video because there's many things I said and um, I hope you guys enjoyed that let me know in the comments below let me know any follow-up questions you might have uh, with color and I will see you in the next video